to best uh, car fixes this is Muhammad Harun Idris please subscribe and share today we have a result we are working on Cadillac uh, 2009 Cadillac DTS and our problem here is that the engine computer how how it look like and where it's located and how to program it if you have a new one this is a brand new engine computer you need a subscription from uh, 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 tech line connect update it this is the part number if you want to buy it and you have to replace after you have the subscription you're gonna go and show you where it's located this is a car generally from our side the dealer need the core back the the engine computer is located inside the air full meter I mean the air yeah, the air um, air filter housing, and this is you see here because the the purpose of putting it there to cool down. I'm sorry, I'm using one hand to video, and uh, and take the the key output down the road one day by your help and your support i really appreciate also your help and support i will have a cameraman and then at that time we're gonna make complete clear video okay here it is and when you try to put it don't forget to have <coughs> by color you see the blue one it's supposed to be here if it's not maybe this have to go this way the blue one you see how they make it good on this one always is the safest place ever I see when the car is start it cool it down and no water We have some covers okay this is a black connector here you know what and now here is the last one thank you boss hey be safe I'm gonna now keep the old one in the box so that you're gonna pay give it back at the core charge like 30 dollar or so that means it's remanufactured i'm gonna go back to the car be sure you have a fully charged battery or at least a booster now here your internet now i'm gonna choose engine control module engine control module here and then click next hopefully you have internet if you don't have no internet it will not go let me put the ignition switch i did not turn the ignition switch on okay the car will not start proceed it will take one slot and this is MDI last time I did one with uh, with the pass-through device Ford it work you see now I have connected the vehicle MDI 2 this is the software production let me click you see all this calibration is available and also if you have a code enhancement for p0411 and p0242444 you need to update your computer it will help i click on start programming and i see the system downloading the software from the server and then from there It will download it into the engine computer. It takes some time at this. 
You have to be patient. I hear also the cooling fan work. To start downloading, it takes from one minute to three minutes. And here it says 27 minutes, 21 minutes, 19 minutes. It go down quick, but as soon as you reach seven or eight minutes or 15 minutes, it will delay. Here is a programming event. Download, okay, verified, okay, coming down. service under lock we are using uh, by the way MDI 2 can I use any path through device yes most companies accept any J2534 and a, a lot of car the J2534 all the dealer diagnostic tool are comparable so you don't need to worry about uh, uh, Nissan Toyota Techstream Nissan VI uh, Ford IDS um, GMC, uh, Chrysler, Snap-on, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Hotel, any path through is comparable J2534, companies accept it. Except some cars, they don't have the capability of looking for other. For example, here we have SPS and we have GDS. If you have a GDS and we try to communicate with the car, some module you cannot communicate with it. Also, some tools you must have dealer tools to be able to check the newer cars like Chrysler 2019 and up. You cannot clear the code or check and delete code using uh, aftermarket tools. You have to have subscription on Chrysler Tech Authority. We take subscription and uh, use it there are some tools before 2016 17 may work it doesn't it will not give you a hard time but believe me or not if you have if you're working a lot on chrysler get the right tools because the chrysler one after 2017 and up it have chrysler it have fiat it have alfa romeo and other car that you will be able to check diagnose locate wiring diagram component component location program you see now, it says we have three minutes left. Follow with us and follow, please subscribe, share and like also. We are not far from this. Some cars, when you finish programming uh, the computer, you must go back and do the security. And those are the older cars. But the newer cars, 95% of them, as soon as you finish, you just turn the key off, wait two minutes, one minute, restart it car start right back and this is for Cadillac Cadillac as you see here Cadillac Chevrolet Oldsmobile GMC they all the same Chevrolet company with a different different brand it's just like a diversity of people human being but there is different different language different dialect different country different culture but at the basics are there. Uh, GM or General Motors or Chevrolet have different cars, but Cadillac is one of the quality of their cars, Cadillac. Cadillac is the quality of GM. Uh, Buick and other also, yes. Now, if we go back to Toyota, you're gonna get Lexus is their quality car. If you go to Nissan, you're gonna say Infinity is their quality car. If you go to where is that? Ford, you're gonna say Lincoln. They like Lincoln, it's like a soft, you know, like uh, their cars. Uh, Honda, you get Acura, is their car. Uh, but I also, by working on cars, I realized that Nissan computers, most of the time, they come programmed. Honda, 
most of the time they can program it and the only car that i see it doesn't have a lot of computers crazy stuff i work in 2019 2020 2015 honda honda they simplify their electrical and electronic cars believe me they don't have a lot of stuff if they start adding it now i don't know gm now you have a lot of computers inside Toyota also they don't have a lot a lot but on the SUVs I noticed they have it okay so we are waiting for it please be sure your battery charger have to be on all the time especially this car I see that the fan is kicking when you have a fan draining the battery while you're programming the computer it's no good put a charger to maintain the battery level while you are charging your car we have a couple of seconds left by the way in here if there is any new information this is your serial number here if there is any message updating the software here is the VIN number and the car here is the information you can navigate and the new company they call it tech line connect with sbs2 before it's sbs they made it a little bit easier believe me because when you download it you don't need a lot of configuration and by the way this laptop here i use it for Kia, Hyundai, Ford, Chrysler, um, Honda, yes, Honda also. I use it for GM, as you see it here. I use it for BM, uh, Volkswagen, Audi. I use it. I use it for BMW. So, it, it, when you're working on cars, try to get something that is suitable. This is um, Windows 10. I don't want to go beyond Windows 10. Uh, they say window 11 but some cars they don't work with the window 11 you know the manufacturer need you they we need to work with something that is smooth you know i can do anything you see here you say uh one token is being taken away but i don't want to go to that one i will clear all the dtc and if you want to program another computer if there is any update look at your technical service bulletin while you are here this car after you buy the subscription it is for you to do whatever you want to do with it for 24 months i believe that means if i come back again i don't need to buy any subscription if i plug it in on the computer look at the vin number recognize that we did a job on this car it will it will not take your money away the code was cleared I'm gonna close it you see now to close it give you the information you can rush by shut it down now but let the computer do his job you're good to go thank you for watching best car fixes please subscribe share and like and you have any question feel free to ask if I'm able to answer okay if it's not me and you will look for someone I'm gonna try to see if the computer is the car gonna start you see now the car doesn't want to start why because we need to do the security you see that lock there is there so i'm going to turn the key off thank you for watching please subscribe share and like the, the part two is going to be how to program the security thank you